Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. Let's go ahead and ground. This is for all of my Geminis, all of my Geminis. Let's see what energy we have today for all of my Geminis on this beautiful Monday. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day thus far. Okay, Spirit's telling me to use my personal deck. And right on the top is take care of yourself. So there definitely could be something that you're not taking care of within yourself. And let's see what else we have here. These cards are really hard to shuffle. So let's just pull from the top. I keep on seeing change. And then I see manifest too. Okay, so something that you're manifesting is on the way, right? You're manifesting something and you're realizing now that you have to manifest this from a heart space. You've been seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities lately. There's something that you have been doing a lot of research on. Um, you had to realize that you are the light. The light is within you. Any type of fears that you have, you realize that that is an illusion. You have to let that shit go, right? There's something that you're showing gratefulness about. And then we have real love here. So there could be some type of fear that you had going towards a certain situation, but you are definitely showing gratefulness here. Then we have October. So something might come to pass in this October. There are definitely some blockages that um, needed to be cleared. Needed to be cleared. Um, and we definitely have um, something with being immature, right? Some type of immaturities and then watching and then good news. So it's like something you or your person, take it, flip it or reverse it. Something you or your person need to work out. Um, they need to work out within themselves and that's gonna lead them to some clarity and release these blockages. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and put some Kipper on it. First thing out, work occupation. So this is going to have to be worked on, okay? Ain't shit going to come easy. This is something that's going to have to be worked on. If you feel like you need to take care of yourself, that was the first thing out. Something that you need to go within yourself, some type of healing. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Some type of healing that's going to take hard work. Look how she's holding her back. And he, like, damn near sick from working hard. His face is green. But then, look right there. They have been guided. Through these animals, through these signs, through these synchronicities, and they're all around growth. And look, there's some aliens there at the bottom blending in. So you are definitely chosen, but it's definitely something that you need to go ahead and heal within yourself. High honors. Once you go ahead and heal this, you will, you know, like I just said, you're chosen. What is that, like a baby unicorn? What is that? It looks like a baby unicorn right there, y'all. Right there. I never even noticed that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, you're a motherfucking unicorn. You're magical. You're mystical. That's two cards back to back that you're some type of other world type creature. You're very much so chosen, but you just need to let go of something in order to, you know, get to where you want to be, to where you're supposed to be, to where you feel like you need to be. great happiness. This change, um, this surrendering and letting go and healing is going to lead you to great happiness. It's going to lead you to abundance. It's going to lead you to like constantly like having that, that cup. And it's always full and always is, is um, getting refilled. I was trying to think of something, y'all, but I can't even think of it, but whatever. You know that constant, it's like the infinity symbol, it's constant. If nothing comes out of here, okay, here we go. I'm about to switch decks. Short illness. Yeah, because something's leaving you stuck. 
and then on the bottom of that gr grief and adversity something is um this blockage is leaving you stuck where your manifestations can't come through so there's definitely something that needs to be healed here let's go ahead should i put some tarot on it okay right at the bottom of the five of cups yeah there's something that you are definitely feeling regretful over or your person feeling regretful over you're dissatisfied you're dissatisfied because you know that there's some shit that you need to go ahead and pick up the pieces to and go ahead and get out your feelings and get into your actual working and taking action, right? Hermit, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So there has been some type of time that you've been by yourself. And if not, you need to go off by yourself. Any, you know, people around you, you need to go ahead and, you know, we all need times of separation. We can't be constantly always around somebody from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep. We need time by ourselves to do that introspection. I feel like that's what this person needs. They definitely need some time by themselves to do some introspection, to get some inner guidance and actually vibrate higher, right? Then we have the Nine of Cups. That's the only way that you're going to get to your wishes fulfilled. Taking care of yourself first, understanding the healing that you have to go through, understanding where, what you want and setting those goals and, and working towards those goals, those goals right? Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so this person definitely, you know, may have some problems with some finances at this time. And they see you as very financially responsible. They see you as very secure and down to earth. And then we have an Ace of Pentacles, right? Manifesting something new. And whenever I was doing um, the pre-shuffle for Gemini's Energy, it was like new. It was new. It was all new. It was transform transformative energy. So there's something that... This person wants that is new. It's like a new financial opportunity. It's new. It's, it's just a very secure situation, right? Temperance. Okay. This is exactly what I was saying. You see how it's depicted on the temperance card of how that cup is constantly, like, never empty. As you pour it out, you get it right back. That's the energy that uh, this person is in. They know that it's going to, like, they want some type of balance in a situation. They know that they're going to have to blend. They know that they're going to have to get that self-control. They know that they're going to have to do that introspection, like I was saying. Okay, cut the deck on the Six of Swords. And then the Five of Swords right after that. So it's like trying to move away from anything that no longer serves them. But in the same way, it's like feeling like this empty victory because feeling stuck. Or feeling like there's a lot of people that are betraying you. Like, you don't know who to trust, basically. Okay, very p paranoid energy because this person does not know who to trust because people they think that they could trust <laughs> don't do nothing but setting them up for sabotage, right? Don't do anything but, um, but they're very demanding, very jealous. They setting them up for sabotage, trying to get in their way, trying to make sure that they don't grow, right? Because they see this person can do better than them and it's gonna do, you know, you know, people can be very jealous whenever they see you. Whenever they're right here and they're still in that lower vibrational energy and they see you expounding on everything and you're up and you're up and you're up. If it's up, then it's up, right? Um, and you're continuing to grow and continuing to do you and continuing to work hard on yourself. That shit creates jealousy in people you would never think it would create jealousy in, right? So because of that, I, I see that you definitely are understanding that <laughs> to get to your manifestations, you can't be around any lower vibrational energy. Right to get to this good news page of Pentacles, to get to these financial opportunities, to get to this new new, you can't be stuck. You can't be stuck in stagnant Ace of Cups, and then we have the Tower. So there's some type of Tower moment that's happened, some type of chaos, some type of um, unexpected news that you received. Okay, stabbed in the back. So Ten of Swords, something that was definitely like a misfortune, very painful, um, that felt like you couldn't pick yourself up from, caused you to be able to see shit for how it truly is. Right. Caused you to be able to see, and 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 you wanted to have these good karmic cycles back at back coming back to you. If I can talk, y'all can't even talk this morning. Okay, having these good karmic life cycle cycles coming back to you and wanting movement and progress, but knowing eight of cups that you're gonna have to let go. Right, you're gonna have to abandon the situation. You're gonna have to leave the past in the past because you're seeking a deeper meaning to everything, and you know that you're gonna have to follow your intuition. Right. Following your intuition and also accepting that you can't control every motherfucking thing, right? It's not up for you to control. And if you can't control it, then it's okay. Just let it do what it's going to do. And then you just find a way to be like water and move through that shit how you have to, right? You can't control everything. It's, I mean, 
whatever. Sometimes we put more stress on us than we need to on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We have the star and then we have the six of pentacles. So it's definitely like positive changes after healing, right? And then getting that balance, getting that balance with the six of pentacles, getting paid with your work because you're giving that good energy out because that law of attraction, that shit is coming back because that's what you're giving out. So let's go ahead and get some last advice from Spirit. And it's definitely like some energy of healing. Is And the first card out today was take care of yourself. So it's definitely within taking care of yourself. It's definitely with healing yourself. And, you know, there may be some type of forgiveness that you have to do within yourself. Something that has happened in the past. Something that you've done that was lower vibrational. That you need to forgive yourself and go ahead and just continue to vibrate higher from that. Because we do change. We do change. It's an evolution. It's like every seven years we get new sales, right? So we're not even the same person we were seven years ago. So when you meet somebody from your past and they see, oh, you are not the same. No, because I'm not the same.